Jenna and Patrick, like most three-year-olds, are developing their personalities almost daily. Come get it. Patrick is our kind of laid back, see how things go boy. Yeah. And Jenna is kind of our audacious, confident, conquer the world girl. See that? They have the claws right here. I am Ten, and my name is Bailey. And I like motors. I like 40 horsepower. But yeah, my mom won't let me have one. Yeah! I'm sure the neighbors hate us because there is dirt flying in their yard at all times. Oh, 140. This is cool. I am in fourth grade. Sit. My name is Natalie Stack and I'm 16 years old. I like to play with my dog and bake. I have some really close friends and they know all about my disease and they're really supportive of me. My parents found out that I had cystinosis when I was three months old. I distinctly remember the day that they told us Natalie had cystinosis. Our life just stopped. It was devastating to us. Cystinosis is a metabolic disease, and as we get older, it destroys all of our organs, and it's in all of our cells. Well, cystinosis is an, an inherited disease where children accumulate the amino acid cystine in all of their body cells, and it causes damage to most cells over a period of time. We're not going to do it right now? At this stage of the game, we give them a lot of medicine throughout the day. I take my meds because they keep me alive. All the meds taste nasty. To see my son have to go through just the medication regimen is, you don't wish that on anybody. Can you do this real quick for me? To see them and to be around them, they're normal. So you get lulled into this sense of security. You want some eggs? No. Can you sit down? Every once in a while, it's like you get slapped. The stories from the past are very difficult to hear. My daughter, Erin, was born with cystinosis back in 1977. Erin was uh, just a, a real bubbly personality. She was just always the, the life of the group. Hi. She always had a good giggle. <laughs> That's the, probably one of the things I miss the most, not hearing that, that laughter. We were able to get her a kidney transplant, and she was 25 when she passed away in June of 2002. Cystagon is the medication that rids the body of the cysteine. Unfortunately, the cystine reaccumulates in approximately six hours, and so the children at the moment, the approved form of cystamine, which is cystagon, has to be taken every six hours to be effective. I'll take 12 meds four times a day. When Bailey's at school, a uh, RN nurse comes every day at one o'clock and administers his medications. He complains, but he just takes them. He just, he knows he has to take them. I take them at seven, one, seven, one. For many children, Taking cystamine may also be associated with certain symptoms, certain gastrointestinal symptoms. When I was really little, I used to throw up from the medicine. Also, I would just have a lot of stomach aches. I just remember how hard it was that even if she were awake, we still had to hold her. We had to stuff this medicine down her mouth. When she was asleep at night and we had to do it, Sometimes it would take a half an hour to wake her up. They are required to take this drug four times a day, which means waking up in the middle of the night. Can you imagine waking up in the middle of the night, taking a medication, feeling ill, taking the medication and then going back to sleep, and then doing this every single day of your life? You're tied to the clock every day. Right now, you're, you have four times a day where you know exactly where you have to be, 
I'm definitely always aware of time. I have to be to make sure he gets his meds. I take eye drops every day because there are a lot of crystals in my eyes that form and I have to take them every hour. If I don't take the eye drops, then I could go blind. I wear sunglasses because the sun hurts my eyes. My daughter, Erin, she was diagnosed in 1979. They just said, take her home, enjoy her till she's age 10, that's when she'll pass away. And in October of that year, 1979, she started on uh, the systemic uh, study. So she was one of the very first kids that tried systemic. The medication definitely helped. She started feeling better and she started growing. She didn't let being ill stop her, which was really, I thought, great. I realize that I do have this disease, so I'm really determined to keep taking my medicine every day because if I don't, then I know that I'll get even more sick and I don't want to die early. Although I think Natalie struggles with her uncertain future and, and wonders about what will happen to her as she gets older, she still remains optimistic and she lives every day with such beauty and grace. We're all very excited about a new controlled release form of the drug. Dr. Dohill, with a, a series of very ingenious clinical experiments, he's found that he's able to actually give less drug over a, a day, but giving it just twice a day rather than four times a day. Taking it twice a day is going to be a very big change in the quality of life for children. It's going to mean that hopefully they're going to be able to sleep at night time without having to wake up. I was in a study about two years ago for the slow release pill and it really hurt and it was really uncomfortable but it was worth it. For the first 15 years of my life I never was able to sleep through the night. Since I've been on the slow release pill my life has changed because I don't have to wake up at night and I don't have to wake up at five in the morning, so I'm not as tired and my stomach doesn't hurt all the time. How many waters do you like to take to bed, Jenna? Oh, two of them. Two of them? Yeah. To, to have that come out, I think, would be an incredible lifestyle change. To have a time release medication would be a blessing. I can sleep extra, and then I can get more rest. That would be the next best thing to a cure. Late last year, we learned that Raptor Pharmaceuticals bought the worldwide license for enteric-coated cysteamine, the slow-release drug that's currently being used in clinical studies for children. And Raptor has a very clearly defined plan for enteric-coated cysteamine. Their plan is to reformulate the drug and then implement broad, inclusive studies, research clinical studies for children with cystinosis. And finally, their plan is in 2009 to apply to the FDA for approval of the slow-release drug. So that, that's huge news for this community and a real reason to celebrate. I must say that I had not expected to see this type of development in my lifetime. The level of research over the last uh, five years has escalated logarithmically um, and there's no question this is down to the efforts of the Cystinosis Research Foundation and their phenomenal ability to raise funds and support our studies. We've been extraordinarily blessed with uh, wide support from family, friends, business colleagues, business competitors and just an incredible number of people who've opened their hearts and their pocketbooks and have shown enormous generosity. The Cystinosis Research Foundation has funded over 20 projects and in areas that had never been studied and funded before, such as stem cell research, uh, gene therapy, uh, very careful studies of the biochemistry of the cell in cystinosis, things of this sort, things that we think 
have a much better chance of leading to an actual cure for cystinosis. The Cystinosis Research Foundation just had its first international research symposium and we had doctors and researchers from around the world. For two solid days our researchers and scientists shared their information from their research studies and they formed collaborations. There's no question that this conference would not have happened without the generous support of the Cystinosis Research Foundation. They have really changed the landscape of cystinosis research over the past five years. Um, and I hope that they continue to do so. Very, very brilliant investigators are working very hard to see if we could someday have a cure, and that's what we all hope for. What I wish for every night is a cure for the disease. I would love to see a cure for cystinosis. My biggest wish is to have cystinosis go away for everyone who has cystinosis. Make a wish, say a prayer, don't be scared to dream. Set. Yeah.